Welcome to our children's sermon for June 28th. I'm Pastor Rachel, and I'm so glad that you're here. It's been pretty hot lately, hasn't it? And I bet some of you have spent some time playing outside while it's been hot. It can be so much fun to play outside. But when it's hot, then you eventually get pretty thirsty, right? Yeah. And when you're hot outside, a cold drink is just the perfect thing to help you out. It feels refreshing and gets you ready to go again. And when somebody brings you the cold drink, well, that's even better. You know that someone was thinking about you and cares about you and wants you to have what you need. That's such a good feeling, isn't it? Today in our gospel lesson, Jesus is talking about caring for people welcoming them and loving them, and he talks about bringing someone a cold cup of water. Now, back when Jesus was alive, there weren't any refrigerators, right? Or taps with hot and cold water so you could just get some right out of the faucet? No. If you wanted to give someone a cup of cold water, you had to put in some effort. Maybe you would go to a well and lower something down, down to where the cold water was and bring it back up. Or maybe you'd need to go to a spring where the water was coming up out of the ground, cold and delicious. You couldn't just pull it out of your cabinet. You had to go get it to bring some cold water. And that was a way to show people love and care. That extra effort was important. And Jesus teaches us that when we love someone, we'll put in the extra effort to show them that we love them and that we care for them. Now you've probably noticed that I'm in a new place today. I'm in our sanctuary at Grace Lutheran Church. We haven't been here for a pretty long time. Because of the pandemic, Pastor Greg and I have been doing our children's sermons from our house. But things are gonna be a little bit different this weekend. This weekend, we're starting to offer in-person worship, worshiping at our building for those people who would like to come but we're still doing worship online and our children's sermons online too. That's the safest way for some people to worship and that's good. So we're here at the church, but of course we know the pandemic isn't over, right? And so we're gonna be putting in a lot of extra effort to show love and kindness to one another as we welcome each other in new ways in this time. Now, right now, I'm not wearing a mask on my face but that's because I'm alone in our sanctuary and I know that no one is going to come in here. But in just a minute, I'm gonna go into the fellowship hall to worship with the people who have come here. And before I go, I'll put on my mask. Now my mask is a way to show that I love and care for people because I'm keeping my germs to myself and everyone else is gonna wear a mask too, saying that they love and care for me so that I don't get their germs. Masks are a little extra effort that show we care. Now, I'm also going to have to show a little extra effort to let people know that I'm glad to see them. How do we usually let people know we're glad to see them? We smile, right? When you're excited to see someone, you put a smile on your face. But of course, you can't see my smile inside my mask. So how am I gonna let people know that I'm happy to see them? I'm gonna have to smile with the whole rest of my face. Have you ever thought about how to do that? How do we smile with the whole rest of our face? Let's see if you can guess. Guess if I'm smiling by looking at the rest of my face. Am I smiling right now? No. How about now? No, that's a frown face. How about now? Yes. Can you see how my eyes have a smile in them too? Yeah, you know that I'm smiling like this. And you can make smiling eyes too, a way that we show each other that we love and we care even when we can't see our mouths. It's a little extra effort to make sure people know that we care a lot. When things are really normal, when things are different, a little extra effort, putting in some smiling eyes can really make a difference for people just like cold water on a hot day. I wonder what other ways you are showing care for people, how you're letting them know that you love them and that they're welcome. 
If you're watching this on Facebook, you can leave a comment underneath the video and let me know. I'd love to hear how you're sharing care and love and welcome. Let's end our time together with a prayer. I'll start and you repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Show us ways to love each other, especially when things are different. Help us to share good things with each other, like cold drinks on hot days and smiles from our eyes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks so much for being here with me today. I hope that you have a great week, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.